Okay, so if you've noticed, there's a lot of there's a changes. First of all, new year, new weave for me. Got this dank weave. So I've been literally thinking about making this um, Instagram is annoying video for the past few weeks. And what better day to make it than the day I get curved on Instagram? I know we'll slide into those DMs. Um, if you've ever seen this thing, this is just about a uh, stab to the heart. But you know, everything's okay. Debbie's a grown woman. She don't need no man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- Hey, what is up, my royal fam? It's Queen Debbie, but you can call me Debbie, and I am back today with another video with, like I said, a new camera, better quality. I've had this camera literally since October, I've just never used it, because it was my brother's, and he's like, you can use it, but then I never chose to use it. I don't know, I was being weird, but yeah, new camera. And as you can see by the title, I'm doing this video that I've been holding off for literally for a good five months since I started my channel. I was gonna make this after the Snapchat was annoying, video because that went did really well so I'm doing an Instagram is annoying because snapchat is pretty annoying but I think Instagram has a lot more things that are annoying about it so I'm not even gonna play around here but I'm a self promo follow my Instagram I don't do any of this annoying things so you should follow my Instagram it's Queen Debay literally it's not it's Queen Debay it is Queen it's Queen Debay so go follow me links always in the description and my Twitter if you're interested in that as well but Let's just get into the video and not even dilly-dally anymore. Okay, so the first thing that is really annoying about Instagram is captions. And there's a few things about captions that are really annoying. Usually, people will try to be artsy and poetic and use some sort of caption or quote that literally does not relate to the picture whatsoever. Like, the whole picture will be a picture of them literally like standing in their backyard or sitting on grass. And they'll be like, the waves of life will take me through time and I will succeed eventually. Like it's something that completely doesn't relate to their picture, but they were literally sitting there like, hey, I need to capture my picture. Let me search up like RC quotes, random quote, doesn't relate, sounds good, let's put it together. Like, what are you thinking? Or they'll use like really obscure song lyrics. Like, I'll, I'll insert some random song lyrics, but song lyrics that literally either everyone listens to, like um, Raindrops, Top, Drop Top, Wait, what am I saying? Raindrops, drop top, or something like that. Or they'll use something like, um, I'll take care of you, or some Rihanna lyrics, or at work, or something like that, which either everyone listens to, or they do some like songs from the 90s, because they're like hipsters and don't use any rare, like you use like current day songs. Like who are you trying to impress with your like knowledge of songs? Like either you look like a hype beast and you're just going off popular songs, or you look like you think you're too cool and you listen to only obscure songs that nobody knows. Like another thing people do that is really weird is that they are literally catfishes on the internet. Like I'm talking people who look absolutely not even to the same that what they do look in real life. And I'm not hating on people who wear makeup. This isn't about makeup. This is people who edit the shit out of their pictures to the point where they're a new human being, like they're a new species. Like there's literally apps where you can add eyelashes. You can add eyelashes, not like wearing fake eyelashes. You can add eyelashes, you can do a full face of makeup, you can change your face shape, you can like slim down your waist, you can get bigger boobs and whatever. Like literally people go so far with editing, they are not even the same person and it blows my mind. Like you're a catfish. You look at you in real life and look at your pictures. Like who, why are you trying to do this people? Cause then they're gonna meet you and be disappointed and be like, you do not look anything with like your pictures. You are a catfish, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know when this happened, but there was like a turnover on Instagram where doing like super outrageous looks, like glam looks, is a new thing. Like I'm talking looks that if you saw someone walking around normally and every day you'd be like, they're wearing like six pounds of makeup. Like I'm talking like hard contour with like bright highlighting and with like blush that's like super bright. My phone is vibrating. Anyways, back to my point. I'm talking about people who get like super contour, outrageous makeup looks like the hard contour, super bright highlighter. Contour doesn't look like, it's not even like you're trying to make it like contour. It just looks like a straight dark line down the side of your face. Bright highlighter, like extreme all over face highlighter, bronzer, blush, crazy outrageous like eye looks. So like liner like out here. And I like, I know people like to be creative, but it's become like so insane like like you have fun with your makeup but 
damn that's just crazy to me like do you have fun but that's so crazy to me because now that's like the expectation for like all makeup like if all your makeup doesn't look like instagram it's not good and that's like weird comparison because literally those makeup looks is not anything you can walk around like you can do if you want but it's not like anything normal like someone does to walk around in that much makeup but like you do you but like why so much why are the expectations for makeup like up here and like my makeup basic every day like i can't do that crazy anything but like maybe you guys don't see this because you just don't follow anyone or know anyone who smokes but um when you are not friends i'm not gonna be friends when you follow anyone who either is a hard stoner like not hard, that sounds weird like a big stoner they post so much weed like Teenage donors are so obsessed with the fact that they smoke weed that they will literally like, rub it in your face as they smoke weed. Like, they're like, here's my weed, like, look at my weed, like, weed, like, weed, like, I smoke weed, like, hey, I'm taking a big hit off this ball, like, look at this fat toke, like, look at me hit this ball, like, weed, like, weed, like, weed, like, weed, like, weed, like, I get it, you smoke weed, like, I get it, you're dank, you're cool, thumbs up, bro, but, like, can my feed not be filled with your weed? That was a rhyme, but, like, stoners post so much pics of their weed so many pics of the weed i get it you smoke weed you don't need to post all your nugs and everything in like a ton of weed i get it i understand you smoke weed we're good we we got on this level now people who post pictures i've done this i'm guilty i'm not say guilty of some of these things but posting pictures of healthy food or whatever be like hashtag healthy life hashtag fitness like for real and it's even funny when you know these people aren't healthy whatsoever and i'm not saying these people are like fat or whatever i'm just saying they're not nearly as healthy or anything that they portray they are like people try to take their instagram and make them a new person that like when they're not and be like oh my god i'm so healthy like hashtag healthy like hashtag health training. like if you actually are good for you but don't fake this just so people can have a persona of you being like healthy and whatever because it's not cool like it doesn't make you cool if you eat salad if you eat bowl of fruit you're not cooler i'm sorry but that's just how it works this one was in my Snapchat video, but this is literally cringy. Cringy. It doesn't happen anymore, mostly because most people I follow are older, like my age or older. And like, Musical.ly is for children. But for a while, people would literally post Musical.ly onto Instagram. Like, on Snapchat, I met people would make Musical.ly on Instagram, but no, I mean on Instagram, people will post their Musical.ly. Like, they'll make Musical.ly on Musical.ly, save those Musical.ly, and then post Musical.ly on Instagram. Leave your musicals on Musical.ly for the people who want to see your Musical.ly, not bring them to Instagram. And you can be like, Debbie, you can just unfollow these people. Well, yes, but like, I don't want to. I don't want to take it that far. Just don't post your Musical.ly. Like, these people are older too. They're like 16 and above. I mean, some of the users are like 16 and older. But like, why are you posting your Musical.ly? <laughs> why are you posting your Musical.ly? Leave them on the app. Please leave them there. <sighs> this is so hard. Another thing on Instagram that's actually getting out of control lately and it's like blown away is ads. The ads are out of control. First, sugar bear hair is a scam. Don't purse it. Fit T-Tox is the most useless thing. Tea is not something that's gonna make you skinny. You're not gonna burn 500 calories from drinking tea. That is the most outrageous scam I've ever heard in my life. Do not fall for it. Do not spend your money on it. Um, booty, I don't know if that one is supposed to say like you'll grow a booty or whatever, but like, no. I mean, some of the Kardashians that posted like booty cream that makes your butt grow, does not work. That doesn't even make sense physically how that can work. Um, there's so many that I could name, even waist trainers or just anything. There's so many that are like, ads are on every single page. Like even celebrities, and a lot of celebrities are endorsing it, which blows my mind because they're really scamming children. Cause a lot of Instagram users are young, fact. So you're trying to get the young Instagram users to buy sugar bear hair and think their hair is going to grow so long when those things are completely 100% scams and don't work. Sure, maybe they have good amount of vitamins in them, but pr like presenting them as someone that's going to make your hair go long is completely false advertising and I'm like against that. So ads on Instagram have gotten out of control and even those pages who post those, it's just like Facebook now, it's becoming like Facebook, like the posts that are like, you won't believe what they say next. And it's like a random page and it's like, boy, hello, girl, what? Guy, I have something to tell you. Girl, what? He's like, it's serious. What? Girl's like, oh my God, tell me. And then in the bottom's like, click here now to go watch this. It's a scam. Don't click on it. You'll get a virus on your phone. Like how is it that Instagram, a picture posting website has become so ad controlled? How? I just want to see some cute pictures of dogs and hot guys and how to be healthy things. Like I don't want to see Fit bear, fit bear hair, like fit bear hair. And then this last thing that I'm gonna be talking about that's annoying about Instagram is basically the unspoken rules 
of Instagram. These are kind of rules everyone follows and you kind of force follow or you're like shunned or like questioned, at least for normal people. For celebrities, they have no rules. They do whatever they want. But for like regular everyday people like me, because I'm basic, when you can't post more than once a day, otherwise it's considered spamming. I post like once in the past year, twice in a day, and it's only because an event in the morning, an event at night, so I post it in the morning and then at night. Only time I've ever done that because it's literally embedded into my mind that you can't post more than twice on Instagram, which like unspoken rules, like how, like why? Like why, like why? is it that serious that you can't post twice a day or like more than once a day, like why? And like the unspoken rules of like, there's a certain time, I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of followed these, but it's weird. But like the fact that like you can't post before a certain time because not as many people are active on it or like you have to post on a certain day because the most people are on it and you can't post after a certain time or something or you shouldn't post after a certain time or like to maximize your likes or maximize your followers or just like the idea of follow ratio like that your following ratio has to be a good ratio to your followers i don't know if anyone still pays attention to this but for a while low-key i was obsessed but like instagram why are we doing this things together we just gotta post pictures of our lives and share our happiness and not focus so much on follow ratio like why are we following following why are we focusing on numbers like one point something that's your follow ratio good for you 3.7 follow ratio that's good for you 10.9 follow ratio great that's not that serious it's not that serious but that is all I have for you guys in this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and agreed with me with some of these things that make Instagram really annoying. If you agree with me, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't agree with me, give this video a thumbs up and uh, you know the drill. Leave a comment about some other things that you find annoying about Instagram or anything you find annoying about any social media. I might make another one of these for Twitter or maybe like another app. I don't really know, use many other apps like YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat, but I might make another one if you guys enjoyed this. But um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to Queen Debate, hit that subscribe button below and join me in this royal fam because we lit dab what it is. And what's up, what's up? I gotta stop with these raps, god damn. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember, you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye.